Hello, and welcome to our Fine BI training for beginners. In the fourth course, we will talk about how to analyze in the table. In the previous course, we took a quick look at the data and edited it. In this course, we will look at the data in depth by creating a table. In Fine BI, one of the essential elements for the creation of charts is the component, which can be seen as the carrier of graphics or tables. Graphics or tables can be created and edited in the component. Let's look at the page where the component can be edited. First, on the left is the area to be analyzed. At the top of this area is the data table that we use to make this component. If the data isn't what we want, we can change it by clicking the toggle button next to it. Down the table, we can see that the text and date fields are grouped under dimensions, while the numeric fields are grouped under indicators. Dimensions here represent the angle of analyzing data. For example, to analyze sales changes in different months or years, the dimension field is month or year, and the dimension is time. To analyze the sales ratio of different provinces or cities, the dimension field is province or city, and the dimension is region. Indicators represent quantification of dimensions. For example, to analyze sales changes in different months' years, the indicator is sales. To analyze the sales ratio of different provinces' cities, the indicator is the sales ratio. Then come back to the component editing page. The blue section is the whole analysis area of the component. In the upper right corner is the analysis area with two field boxes. We can drag the fields from area to be analyzed to the field box to generate a chart. The chart preview area is right below the field box. Here you can preview the chart. If you are not satisfied with the generated chart, you can switch the chart type in the upper left corner of the analysis area. In the next part, we'll look at the rest of the steps. Now, going back to the case, we see that the system has automatically made a component at the bottom of the page. The component uses the data from commodity sales schedule table that we edited. First, we want to look at the sales of different products. Then, we can choose to use the group table. The group table can be grouped by dimensions to get statistics on indicators, so we drag and drop the product name into the dimension column, sales, gross profit, and quantity into the indicator column and choose the chart type for the group table. We now have a basic group table. So, what should we do if we still want to know what day all these products sold? You can move the date to the front of the product name, at which point the product name collapses and the daily sales appear. You can then expand the product name by clicking on the plus signs in the table header or by checking Expand Row Header Node in the Component Style Format. Let's take a look at the indicator. The indicator is set to Sum by default. What should we do to change it to Average? You can see the summary mode by clicking on the small arrow to the right of the indicator field. Here, you can change the summary mode to average, maximum, and minimum, etc. Then, we need to make some changes to the data in order for it to be useful for analysis. Say we want to show the 10 products that have sold the most in total. First, we change the fields in the analysis area by dragging the ones we don't want right out of the box. The name of the product is the dimension, and the sales, gross profit, and quantity are the indicators. Then set the sales in descending order in the table header, so we now see the top 10 products in the table. Then we can click on the drop-down menu of Product Name, Find, Filter, Click, Add Condition, Choose, Largest N, Set, N, to 10, and click OK. This will let us filter out the 10 products that sold the most. Now we see that the values for sales and gross profit are quite large and hard to read at a glance. So we can click on Sales to drop down and find the numeric format, then change the quantity unit for sales to 10,000, keeping two decimal places. The gross profit is the same way. Lastly, let's change the name of this component by double-clicking on Widget at the bottom of the page and changing the name to Top 10 Items in Sales. Our first analysis is now over. Next, we look at the supermarket chain's monthly gross profit and how much it has grown compared to the previous month. 
We only have a year month day date field and a gross profit field right now. How should we meet our needs? First, we use the same information from Commodity Sales Schedule Table to add a new component by clicking on the Add Component button below. We will drag the date field to the column for the dimension and the gross profit field to the column for the indicator. The chart type will be set to Group Table. To get the total gross profit for each month, we can click on the date field drop down menu, change the grouping of the date field to year month, and then double click on the date field to rename it date. Our first requirement will now be met. Next, let's look at how to figure out the monthly gross profit growth. We can take this month's gross profit and subtract last month's gross profit, then divide the result by last month's gross profit to get the monthly gross profit chain growth rate. FindBI already has the formula for the monthly chain growth rate built in, so let's drag another gross profit field into the indicator column. Click on the field drop down. Find quick calculation. Find year on year month on month growth rate. And click on chain growth rate. This will calculate the data we want. We change the name of this field to gross profit chain growth rate. As you can see, quick calculation lets us figure out some numbers with just a click of the mouse. This saves us time from having to write formulas and functions. Change the name of the component at the bottom to gross profit chain growth rate. Our analysis is now done.